Good morning, 624. More than 1,300 delegates are up for grabs tonight on Super Tuesday, but the process for getting delegates isn't like the Electoral College. It's very different. Uh, Chris Sadegui explains for us just how that system works for deciding the presidential nominee. Super Tuesday. Why is it the biggest day of the primary season? Because 14 states are voting with a combined 1,357 delegates up for grabs or 34% of all the delegates in the entire country. Candidates are focusing in Texas because we have a lot of them. 228 delegates, second most of all states voting on Super Tuesday, behind only California. So how do the candidates win these delegates? Well, there's two ways, Senate district races and the statewide race. But here's the caveat. In order to get a share of the delegates, a candidate has to get at least 15% of the vote, either in that Senate district race or the big statewide race. And with so many candidates still running on Super Tuesday, there's a real likelihood not all of them will reach that 15%, meaning they'll be completely shut out. So how many delegates do these candidates need? Well, here is the current delegate count. And the magic number is 1,991, and that's how many they have to hit in order to get the nomination on the first ballot reading come convention time. What if nobody reaches that number? That's when you get a brokered convention, and it hasn't happened since both parties dealt with it back in 1952. So we're not quite sure what it might look like these days, but a brokered convention likely will involve party leaders brokering a deal to get delegates behind the front runner in order to secure enough delegates to win the nomination.